Hello, it's Marco Matosh here from Markham 3D. Today, we're going to be rigging this mech knee along with the piston. So this is one of the files that I've got available on Patreon. And it's just a dollar if you want to jump over there. If you want, you can. If not, big whoop. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Shift A. Let's add in an armature. So I'm just going to worry about just working in this knee. Let's go tab into edit mode. And let's go into wireframe so we can see what we're doing. I'm just going to press A and let's grab this one up here. We'll just make this kind of like the thigh bone, um, the hip bone. From here, I'm gonna press extrude and bring this down. Now I'm gonna make it go to the origin. So I can go shift S, uh, selection to cursor, and then next bit E, Z, down, okay? So this is kind of like the lower leg. The next thing I wanna do is put a bone so it's attached to the top of this piston. I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate that. And we can see that this bone here is attached to this bone. So let's just quickly rename these bones. So select that. Come into the bone properties. This one is going to be called hip. This one here is going to be upper leg, lower leg. And I'm going to make this one upper leg underscore piston. And then we're going to create another bone as well. Shift D to duplicate that one. I'm going to rotate it by 180. Rotate 180. There we go. And then I'm just going to scale that down just so it's a little bit smaller. We'll do the same here, a little bit smaller, bring it roughly to there. And this one here is going to be lower leg underscore piston. So at the moment, this bone is connected to the upper leg, which is not what we want. We want this bone here to be parented to our lower. So let's come over into our relations for this bone, change it from upper leg and we'll change that to lower leg. And now if we go into pose mode, we can see that if we were to move the upper leg, everything moves. If we go lower leg, only the lower leg moves. Beautiful. From here, let's go back into edit mode. I'm going to just quickly uh, line this up properly. So let's go into this mesh here. I'm gonna grab that in there. Actually, let's select all that. Shift S, cursor to selected. Let's get our bone into edit mode, select here. I'm gonna go shift S selection to cursor. Now that bone is in the center there. And we're gonna do the same down here. Let's go tab into edit mode. What I'm gonna do is hide this side and this side, control L, and let's just hide them. Select both these sides, shift S cursor to selected, and it goes into the middle, which is exactly what we want because that's our pivot point. Tab to back into object mode, select our armature, tab again to into edit mode, select the tail, no, the head, sorry, shift S, cursor, uh, selection to cursor, and now that's lined up in the middle there as well. From here, I'm gonna parent the meshes to the armature. So I'm just gonna select everything minus the camera and our light, we don't need the light. I'm gonna select the bone last, Control P to parent, and we're gonna go with empty groups. So let's start off with the top. So this bit here is gonna be attached to our upper leg. So I'm gonna select everything. Let's come into our vertex groups. This is our upper leg assign, and then I'm gonna hide that. This here, select all that. That's gonna be our upper leg assign, hide. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier, but let's go to our shin piece or lower leg piece, select all that. Lower leg, assign, hide. Same here, lower leg, assign, and then hide. From here, let's work on mixing this up. I'm gonna do control L on this section and select this, control L on all that. Box select all these pieces. Oops, no I don't. This one will be lower leg, assign, and we'll hide that. And then we can grab all this and assign to the upper and hide that. And these bolts here will be lower leg as well. So if we just quickly go Alt H to unhide everything, let's select our armature. Let's go into pose mode and let's have a looky see cool beans and cool beans. 
let's just now parent these last little bits. So this section, well, actually, let's go just quickly hide everything else. Hide, 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 Oops. and hide. So what are we doing here? So we know that this pin, let's keep that as the upper leg, hide. Let's select this area will be upper leg piston, hide. So we're attaching it to this armature, uh, this bone here. This will be upper leg piston, hide. Um, let's alt H, dang it. So we've done that top bit. This bottom bit here will be our lower leg because that's what's actually attached to the mech steel. This piece here, control L is rotating. So it'll be our lower leg piston and then control L and that will be our lower leg piston as well. Beautiful. So let's now Alt H on all that. Let's do one more quick test pose. Rotate, cool, rotate, cool, rotate, cool, rotate, you little ripper. Now that we're in pose mode, we need to select our bones. Let's come over into our add bone constraint. We want to track two. Target will be this armature and the bone will be lower leg piston. And we can see that it changes automatically and it doesn't freaking line up. So let's maybe undo that. Let's go pose mode. Let's go into edit mode. Oops, let's come back into here. Let's select that. Shift S, cursor to selected. Go into the armature, edit mode. Shift S, selection to cursor. And then we know that that's now in line. See if this works. Beautiful, so that's much better. We'll do this exact same thing with the bottom bone here. Let's select, go back into object mode, come to here. And so what we're doing in here is just lining up that bone just so there's no distortion. Shift S, cursor to selected, back into the armature, select the head there or the tail, Shift S, selection to cursor. And then if we go pose mode, lovely jubblies, beautiful. Now we can come in here, add bone constraint, track to, select our armature. It'll be lower leg piston. There we go. Add bone, track to, this will be the armature again. And we are tracking to upper leg piston. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this bone and hide this bone, select this bone. And now technically, if we rotate, we've got a piston. So I think, I reckon that the leg probably should come back a lot further. So what I'm actually gonna do is come into edit mode. Let's go back into object mode, back into edit mode. I'm gonna select here, G to the Z, make that shorter a little bit. Let's now grab all that, G to the Z. Whoops, seem to have grabbed a little bit extra. We actually didn't deselect that. So let's go G to the Z. And so we've got this now, which is our extreme pretty much. Back into pose mode, rotate. There we go, that's a lot better. So obviously our leg will never be fully extended like this. It'll always, you know, might come down to here, but that's all your preferences. Now we wanna be able to lock the rotation. So at the moment we've got this, but if I were to kind of rotate, you can see we're gonna have dramas and we don't want that. This is literally just rotating along the X axis. So let's undo that. Add a bone constraint, limit rotation. Y and Z, we can't rotate. Let's have a look. What do we got is that, we can see that it's gone funky. So maybe I'm just gonna rotate this 180 degrees, 180 degrees. Let's just see what happens. There we go. That's lined it back up. And so now if I'm on this angle, I can't rot it, rotate it sideways. What we might do is let's just, while we're at it, let's limit the X rotation. So if I go 90 degrees, what does that mean for me? Minimum, sorry, minus 90. We go minimum minus 90. 
So definitely not that. So let's maybe go minus 30. Okay, so that's going that way. So if we have a look, that's minus 30. That's definitely no bingo. So I'm gonna make this maybe 30 degrees, maximum of 60. And so what does that give us? That gives us this. We can go a little bit further. Maybe we go 10 degrees. Beautiful. That's, that's not bad. Let's go 75. And so now by limiting that rotation, we, the piston will never go into it and the piston will never fall out. And there we have it. There's our Mac, our mech leg all rigged up, nice and chunky jaw, hunky dory. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date my content.